<laughs> and just to let you know, the meerkats are now safely at the Axe Valley Zoo in Axminster, settling into their new home. Right, let's take you back to our main story this lunchtime. The biggest rail strike in a generation across England, Scotland and Wales. In a moment, we'll get the latest on the situation on the roads uh, as a result of the strike with Phil Mackey. But first of all, let's talk to Andrew Plant, our correspondent at Bristol Temple Meads station. And uh, Andrew, you can see the uh, pickets just behind you there. Yeah, it's been very hot, very busy, very noisy here this morning, Ben. The picket line's been out since about 6 o'clock this morning. They're right next to a very busy main road in Bristol here and lots of honking as the cars go past. They're quite a long way, actually, from the entrance to Temple Mead. It's about 200 metres in that direction, and that is almost deserted. I think it's probably the easiest journey I've ever had to the train station uh, here this morning. You can still get certain places from Bristol Temple Meads. You can get across to Cardiff if you want to. You can get down to London via uh, Swindon, down to Paddington there, but that is pretty much it, Ben. All of Gloucestershire essentially has no train services today, and very importantly too, Cornwall uh, finds itself without any services running. That's because they're staffing the trains that are running with managers, and they haven't got enough to go around. Tourism bosses, they're saying, essentially this week is a write-off in terms of train tourism, and not just today, of course, but Thursday and Saturday as well. But there is of course, one very big event you have to take into account here in the West Country, and that is the Glastonbury Festival. 200,000 people travelling from all over the country, trying to get down to uh, Somerset over the next couple of days, most of them travelling tomorrow and the next day. That is going to cause real problems. There are still trains running from here to there, but not as many as they were. That will put a lot of extra pressure on what's left of the public transport system. OK, Andrew, thank you very much indeed.